Back eight on your side first told you about a pilot with St. Pete Air who began delivering donations to St. Croix after Hurricane Maria slammed into the U.S. Virgin Islands. Leslie Lacey recently followed her to the devastated U.S. territory and she enjoyed just now to show us how local help is making a big difference out there. Big difference is definitely the key word there. When Category 5 Maria unleashed her wrath on the tiny island, Jennifer Lockwood still calls home half the year. She knew immediately that help was needed. Friends were describing the scene, no power, no internet, no gas, and many trapped in their homes. So Jennifer hit the air and I followed her. This 10-seater plane may look small, but it made a huge difference when no commercial airlines could land on the devastated island of St. Croix. Describe what it was like. As soon as the airplane came up on the island and we could see the destruction, it was heartbreaking. Lockwood's tarps, generators, and chainsaws became a direct lifeline for these American islanders. <laughs> Less than 10% of the island has power. And for the first week, 0% uh, of the island had power. So the only way people had power was if they had a generator. This woman's father is a stroke victim and needed his medicine kept cold. Her two children were so appreciative for the generator that they wrote Jennifer a thank you letter. We have two fans, the refrigerator, running water. How, do you have power yet? I probably won't for at least three months. With no mail coming in and many gas stations destroyed or damaged, Jennifer delivered a special part that let this gas station get pumping again. It, it changed the lives of not only us with our business, but everybody who relies on us. We only had a four-hour curfew. It would take somebody two, two and a half hours just to get gas for their generator. So if they needed to get food or anything else, you know, it really limited them. After the part went in, Ziegler saw 350 cars fuel up. The one chainsaw that uh, Jen handed to me, and she handed them to uh, numerous other people in different parts of the island, it probably cleared two roads and cut six people out of homes. Lockwood continues to make flights and is now a volunteer liaison between the states and St. Croix. Now, it's been more than three weeks since Hurricane Maria hit, and many people in St. Croix are expected to be without power for months. FEMA and the Corps of Engineers tell me that what they really need now are just able bodies and more licensed contractors to aid in rebuilding people's lives. If you want to actually volunteer, you can go to FEMA's site and check in that way. But yeah. American mm -hmm. territories, Americans down there, and it's a mess. And 10% yeah. of the island right now has power. At That's the last it. check, I was there over the weekend. That wow. was it. I, I mean, in the cell service, I couldn't Facebook Live. I couldn't right. do any of that. Just tiny little pockets where it would come in and out. I mean, it's a mess. They're using cisterns to drink their water. Right. All kinds of issues down there in I'd, St. Croix. I just keep thinking when Hurricane Irma came here, we lost so much power, so many of our areas, but we still could go to the store. We still Right. There was yeah. areas of relief we could run to and yeah. escape for a little bit. They have nothing. Well, they have generators, thanks to Jen yeah. and many other people who are now bringing in right. things like that. So that helps out. All right. All right. Thanks, Leslie.